हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर उर्वशी शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन टूडेज सेशन वील बी फोकसिंग ऑन द राइटिंग मैकेनिज्म व्हिच मींस ओपनिंग डेवलपिंग एन आइडिया एंड हाउ टू वाइंड अप एन आर्ग्यूमेंट और अ नरेटिव सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द सेशन ओपनिंग व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय ओपनिंग ओपनिंग इज द first few paragraphs of the write up we can also say that opening is where you are introducing your idea so it is the introduction in the media terms we also call it a lead so whenever we are opening an argument or a narrative it should be good enough compelling enough so that it grabs the attention of the reader and so that it the reader is hooked to whatever write up we are writing so we have to introduce him to the main idea here we have to keep in mind that whenever we are writing any opening we have to be very clear as to what we are writing for whom we are writing and what will be the tone of our write up all this we have discussed in the earlier modules first is the purpose what is the purpose that we are writing for the purpose can be to inform purpose can be to entertain purpose can be to say persuade purpose can be to say maybe describe an event so we have to be very clear as a writer as to what is the purpose then after identifying the purpose we need to know about the readers for whom we are writing because unless and until we know the demographic and the psychographic profiles of our readers it will be very difficult so giving an eye having an idea about our uh, receiver or a reader will help us to formulate the write up better it will help us to identify the information needs or the gap areas which a write up can fill in then it is also important because it will help us to decide the tone of our write up tone and attitude of our write up so we can say that the opening of an argument or a narrative should grab the reader's attention and introduce the main topic it should also provide some background information on the topic and state the thesis statement which is the main argument or the claim that the writer will be making so how do we go about it start with a strong attention grabbing sentence or a phrase so this is a topic sentence of the paragraph because the write up will be written in form of a paragraph so it must have a topic sentence the topic sentence should be good enough to tell the reader what the paragraph will be talking about or what is the paragraph all about so it has to be a very attention grabbing very crisp very clear sentence then we can provide some background information related to the topic so as to bring our readers to a common platform from where they can understand the narrative or the argument and then it is also important to state the thesis statement next we come to developing once we have introduced the topic it is very important to take that further so introduction in case of a novel or an argument can also be the introduction of the characters who will be who are involved in that particular event or in that particular situation so here the developing of the story would be or the de development of an argument would be that we uh, we depict or we talk about the certain characteristics of that particular character or how the character is behaving in a particular setting so developing the body of an argument or a narrative should provide evidence to support the thesis which means it should be given uh, it should give proof or it should give evidence to the topic statement or to the theme of the write up which we have already made in the introduction this evidence can include facts figures statistic examples expert opinions etc the writer should also explain and interpret the evidence in a way that makes it clear to the reader how it supports the thesis statement for example if uh, say there is an accident and the news report is written about it so the headline can be 
compelling which draws the attention of the reader that the uh, accident has taken place theek hai uh, this can be like four people die in a head on collision between truck and car on national highway 8 so this can be the headline now the introduction can be that the speeding car collided with the uh, speeding car collided with the truck on the national highway 8 killing seven people from the same family now this can be the introduction which is introducing the scene now for the development we can have the point of view of the police officials we can have say uh, facts related to the maybe eyewitness telling about giving an account of what happened exactly then these will be facts and then we can also have the information from the hospital from the doctor on how the people who were who are the survivors of this accident right what is their health situation like so all these help uh, all these facts will help in developing the particular story so it should provide evidence to support the thesis statement which is the main statement or the main idea explain and interpret the evidence then we also have to explain the evidence means why the accident took place were the drivers drunk or the speed limit they had they were driving at a higher speed limit right now the reasons has to be drawn out interpretation has to be made analysis has to be done so that we give a clear picture to our readers then we have to use the transitions to help the reader follow a train of thought which means it should follow a chronology one fact should lead to the other should lead to the other so it should be a chronological sequence through which the narration is done or through which the argument is explained to the reader now last but not the least it is winding up how do you wind up the entire situation the winding up of argument or narrative should restate the thesis statement and summarize the main points that have been made it should also leave the reader with something to think about so wherever we are winding certain argument or a story or a narrative so it has to be in relation to the main statement which was talked about or which was discussed in the introduction but it has to be restated in a different word and moreover it needs to summarize the entire thing if we take an example of a film the introductory part of the film is at a very low pace where all the characters are introduced now these characters are introduced through certain situations which make us understand that who is a protagonist who is a antagonist who is the heroine or who is the character actor we get an idea of it then after this the story develops when the story develops there are certain instances there are certain plots that are introduced so that the uh, interest is generated in that particular film now the plots and the subplots also lead to a climax which is the most interesting part of the entire film and then after the climax there is a resolution or there is an ending or the winding up now this uh climax can be say related to a fight it can be related to maybe the uh, problem that the protagonist and antagonist are into so this climax now it has to be resolved so it can be a happy ending it can be an ending which leaves these or which sows the seed of thought in the mind of the reader right maybe for a social uh, films on social issues like toilet ek prem katha it leaves a seed of thought in the mind of the reader that why the uh, say toilets and sanitation is a necessary element in the household right so all this can be looked into as winding up of the entire story or the narrative so you have to restate the statement you have to summarize the entire thing right and then you have to leave your reader with a seed of thought or with something to think about because when you leave uh, readers with something to ponder or think about it gives them it connects them better with the story it connects them better with the argument and it also helps them to analyze the entire situation so in this session we have seen that the opening the development and the winding up of the story is important continuation to this part we'll also have leads or the intro 
what are the different types of intros that you can use and how different headlines can help us to grab the attention of the reader thank you